I don't know if it was something in the air or just the way I was feeling that particular day. I'm wanting the Charlotte Tilbury New Stick Foundation. So I make the trip into the Mecca store and I'm trying on all the shades and instantaneously I'm like, this reminds me of something that I've felt before. You know, that cooling stick. So I'm swiping on the back of my hand, the swatches, and I can feel this cooling sensation. Now, some of you might love this feeling. I don't actually mind it. There's just something about it that feels kind of like artificial to me. So I thought to myself, you know, have a think about it. Now, I was going to pick up shade six in the range for my skin tone. So I thought, have a think about it. It's $65. And, uh, you know, you haven't actually bought a foundation stick in a while. So walked around checking other things and I thought I'm not going to buy it even if it's just I really wanted it though you know I had heard some good reviews from the Mecca uh, guys that tried it they were raving all about it and you know the thing is with a foundation stick like that I think it would have been lovely to have at least an SPF product in it now, some of you might not care to hoots about whether or not a product has SPF 15 in it. For something that can make such excellent claims, why not just add an SPF 15 in it as well? It'd be great. A great cocktail of a foundation stick, right? I thought, hmm, the new Urban Decay foundation is coming out in July, and I really want to try that as well. I mean, I might not buy it, but it's on the back of my mind. You know, once it comes out, I do really want to go in and check it and uh, give it a go. And I sort of had a little bit of a hissy fit and I thought, you know, these products are so damn expensive. I'm just going to go into Priceline. So I went up the stairs and I went into Priceline and I was just looking at the Revlon range and I thought, you know what, I could get a couple of products for the price of a foundation stick from Charlotte Tilbury. And whilst I almost picked up three things from the Revlon range, I only ended up picking two things, a concealer and this foundation right here. So I picked up the Serum Tint SPF 15, Ginger Root Vitamin C Vitamin E, and it's got SPF 15 in it. So it's a foundation. I got the shade 317 Tan Sand. Now Tan Sand has 28 ml, which is 0.94 fluid ounces of product. I'm just gonna go ahead and open that out of the, out of the box. So it looks like this. And I thought, you know, it's been a real long, long time since I've tried anything by Revlon. I mean, I think the last thing I tried from Revlon was their matte stain lips. And I also picked up this Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine Plus Vitamin C 5-in-1 Concealer. It reminds me so much of the packaging. Well, a lot of companies do this kind of packaging. The one that recently comes to mind is the It concealer and also very similar to the nyx uh, bear with me concealer serum there's a lot of companies that have a very similar packaging to this one all right so let's go ahead and tie the hair back and get this foundation serum tint on the face and see how it pairs and you know i do love trying makeup and i do love trying new things all the time but I'm just trying to obviously be a little bit more mindful of what I really want to spend my money on. Now, whilst I love that feeling of the Charlotte Tilbury foundation on my hand, I don't think that I would have liked it that much having that cooling stick over my face. But I know it's not menthol, but enough babbling on. I'm going to give this a shake and uh, we'll put a swatch of this on the back of my hand. So like I said, it's the shade 317 Tan Sand. Okay, so it does have a little foil thing over the top like that and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand there just about that much and we'll just swipe that out so I think that is going to be the closest to my skin tone which I do have a medium skin tone with a cool undertone. So let's go ahead and put this on. And I'm just going to be using my fingers today to blend this in. I'm not going to actually use any brushes. 
I think that's a good way to go about it. I'm sure that if a product goes on your face really well with fingers, pretty much guaranteed it'll go really, 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 really well with a brush or a damp foundation sponge. I mean, you can hardly even see that foundation on my face, so it's kind of a pretty good match. But I'm just looking down into a mirror here now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending this out. And right off the bat, this feels a little bit thick in consistency, so it's not too thin of a serum, which I don't really like runny, runny serums. But this is feeling quite nice. I'm just trying to see what it reminds me of. I might just do one half of my face, and I've obviously left a little bit of product piled up on the top of my forehead because I obviously used too much, but that's okay. Now, you wouldn't solely rely on this as being your 100% SPF factor, but you could if you wanted to. I mean, if you're working primarily indoors and you weren't going to be exposed to the sun, you could get away with not wearing an extra bit of sunscreen for this one. Let's have a look. This is the right side of my face, your left, with the foundation and without. Obviously, I've got the foundation dotted on this side of my face, but it's done a pretty good job compared to without and with. Obviously, you know, build to desired coverage, so it could be a medium maybe to full coverage or sheer to medium coverage. I'm just trying to see because I kind of ripped off the label there and I can't really read what it says. But something about ginger root extract, vitamin E and C, improved hyaluronic acid with triple molecular weight illuminant serum tint works by visibly reducing dark spots an even skin tone. Gives skin an instant glow, provides all day hydration and protects the skin with UVA and UVB. So I'm quite happy with the way that's feeling and doesn't feel tacky. It just feels nice and moisturized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blend the rest of this out. I might need to apply a little bit more, but I am very happy with the shade. So if you're similar in skin tone to me, the 317 Tan Sand Sable Chord is perfect. I'm gonna just apply a little bit more, about that much. Just wanna build it up a little bit more. It's lovely scented, it's not cloying. Like it's got a really nice, not too florally, but it's got a nice clean scent. Take a little bit of that down the back of my neck, the rest of the remaining bit on my fingers. Just taking that down. All right, let's go ahead now and try the concealer. Now the concealer shade that I got was light medium 30. I didn't test any of these while I was in the store, by the way. Why, how do I open this thing up? Okay, my hands are so sweaty, I have to get a towel to help me. And also this wrist of mine is still really, really, really sore. I did break my wrist approximately eight weeks ago now. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? Looks like a microphone. Hello. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely adorable. It's got like a little sponge tip applicator on the end there. So I'm just going to obviously squeeze this product out and see. Oh, it's coming out. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? All right. Just do a little bit like that. That's the shade. Got an itchy nose. Gonna, oh, feels nice in consistency on my pinky finger. And I'm gonna start, I think that might be too much. I might, that might be enough for two eyes. So let's go ahead and, yeah, oh well, yeah, that's enough for two eyes. So gonna work that in. Just gonna use my fingers to work this concealer in because today, is all about just using fingers. I don't really care too much about brushes or sponges. I mean, obviously it's blending beautifully. I will have to actually probably go in with a brush um, because I, I just applied too much. So let's go ahead and shear that out with a brush. Just using, I'm just using a uh, Sephora Pro Foundation 56 brush. 
to blend that out but oh my god i'm just really 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 loving the fact that this is an opaque coverage and the shade is gorgeous it's going over nicely over last night's skincare which is just purely moisturizer wow loving this concealer oh my goodness this thing is adorable love it love it love it i mean i know that maybelline has sponge applicators natio also does sponge applicator tips for their concealers um you know it might not be the most hygienic thing to do i know charlotte tilbury does um her blush wand sticks and her contour cream in sponge applicators and i don't mind it if it's only you using it why not it's fine let's have a close-up look of the concealer i am so happy with that loving it i'm loving the finish i really am it's dried down beautifully and um what can i say i'm just going to put a bit more there what can i say i love it i mean i will leave a comment in the description below about how this wears for the rest of the day whether it creases and all that sort of stuff but for now right off just doing the first impression i love it all right guys so i'm gonna put this cap back on i'm just gonna do a light makeup application and i'll be back okay makeup is on now if you wanted to get more bang for your buck consider getting alternative products that you kind of think will do the same because you know don't feel like pressured to go in and buy something because it's the next best thing and it has a hefty price tag on it you know even if it doesn't have a hefty price tag on it you know i think 65 dollars is actually quite reasonable for a foundation stick from charlotte tilbury considering most foundations are almost a hundred dollars these days you know for luxury high-end brands uh, but in terms of these two products absolutely beautiful i'll be definitely wanting to use these moving forward for future makeup applications and for future use in general you can't go wrong revlon has really 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 got some good products and on my lips today i did use the color stay limitless lipstick by revlon this is the shade called 012 lead the way which is a beautiful mauve shade right there gorgeous the rest of the makeup that i used on my face i'll leave it in the description box if you're interested do a bit of research and see what products you think would be that would kind of make up the product that you actually want like i did i was like yep you know what let's just go and check some other products that i think might be that might work in the same manner doesn't necessarily mean that it is a comparable product like another foundation stick no you could go ahead and get whatever you wanted and you, you could be in your mind like okay well i got these products instead of the foundation stick or i got these lipsticks instead of the eyeshadow or i got this eyeliner instead of the mascara things like that you know because i know deep down inside i wasn't really going to be using that charlotte tilbury foundation stick only because of the fact that i didn't like that cooling sensation that i had when i was applying it on my on the back of my hand crazy as that might seem that was a bit of a deal breaker for me looking forward to the urban decay foundation coming soon to mecca so i can grab that and try it if i grab it and try i don't know maybe i don't get it in the end thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you all again next time bye for now